so we will see what the Eagles are going to do right here. We're expecting it to be on the defensive side of the ball. Who knows? There's still some terrific wide receivers out there if they want to do that. But they extended A.J. Brown to the tune of three years, $96 million today, and obviously did the same with Devontae Smith a couple of weeks ago. So here is the commissioner of the NFL, as I've been, uh, honestly, I've been the tap dance kid for the last 60 seconds here, waiting Nicely for this done. pick to come in. Thanks so much. Oh, well done. Um, here comes Roger Goodell with the latest Eagles pick, and then the Jacksonville Jaguars right after that in front of 275,000 people here in Detroit tonight. The NFL has gone global. This past year, we played games in front of amazing crowds in London and Germany. This upcoming season, we will play our first ever game in South America, in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And we will be coming to more markets on a global basis soon. The NFL's International Player Pathway Program helps foreign-born players reach the NFL. Elite international athletes have an opportunity to compete at the NFL level and potentially earn a spot on our NFL roster. One of the most successful players from the program is the Philadelphia Eagles, Jordan Mailata. Jordan is currently in his native Australia for the opening of a new NFL academy for high school football players. To make the Eagles selection, Let's join Jordan live from the Eagles draft party in Burley Beach, Gold Coast, Australia. Take it, Jordan. Let's go. How good is this? Thank you, Uncle Roger. Good evening to those of you from the beautiful land down under. With the 22nd pick in the 2024 NFL draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Quinion Mitchell, defensive back Toledo. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got there the corner that they wanted in Quinion Mitchell. And we, I mentioned earlier, guys that go through the whole process and ace every part of it. Fall season, check. Senior Bowl, check. Combine, check. Interviews with teams, check. Straight A student here in Quinion Mitchell, guys. And do, think about this. You mentioned loyalty. I think you mentioned it as well, Joel. Yes. Different guys staying, right? DJ, you pointed out that Quinion Mitchell had the chance at NIL to go play Power 5 and make big money. Stayed. One other little small detail, they wore number 27 at Toledo. He wanted to get to a single digit like so many guys do, and he earned his way to a single digit. His grandmother said, son, if 27 was good enough to make you play the way you did before, 27 is good enough for you now. He kept 27. No NIL money, kept the number he didn't want to keep, stayed at Toledo, and turned into one of the top draft picks in the NFL this year. Speed to burn, and you mentioned the strength, Joel. He's got it all. And, he, and just resilient. You think about the development. He was the 159th corner prospect coming out and recruited. He was the 253rd player in the state of Florida. And here he is, a first-round draft pick out of Toledo. I, I love that type of story and the determination that it shows that he's had in development over the last four or five years. And you know you got to be pretty good for Howie Roseman to take a corner in the first round. The Eagles haven't done that since 2002 with Lito Shepard. So they see something here in this guy that they're excited about, and that's why you're seeing hugs and high fives from Jeffrey Lurie and company inside the draft So room. you're saying that's like Howie taking a linebacker? <laughs> well, we're still waiting on that. We're going to still wait on that for a while. Well, we haven't seen any linebackers take it. We've seen edge rushers go. We've seen our first defensive back go. Just a ton of tackles and quarterbacks. And we haven't seen another wide receiver go off the board since Roma Dunze went off the board ninth overall to join Caleb Williams, probably on a private debt. They're probably already wheels up on their way yep. to Illinois right now. Bears fans are out of their skulls excited about what happened tonight. Kaylee Hartung is with Quinion Mitchell. Kaylee? Quinion, when you went to college, you told your coaches you wanted to be coached hard. Now you're Toledo's first first-round pick in 30 years. What did that university give you? I mean, it gave me a lot of loyalty. A lot of love just coming out of high school had some great issues and they just stuck with me through the whole process. So, I mean, I just give my thanks to them, give my thanks to God. What are you going to tell your coaches in Philadelphia that you need? 
I need to be coached hard, harder than ever, so yeah. There are two women in your life, your mother and your grandmother, who you have credited as being very influential. Describe how they led you here. Two powerful women, showing love, showing tough love, and just, just being up for me. I, I, I can't think of them enough, man. I'm just, I'm just speechless right now. Take it in. Thank, Thank you. you. That's awesome. You think about him as a player. Jair Alexander was my comparison. The speed, the 40, all that stuff shows up on the tape. It's, it's very impressive to watch him run as well as stop and start. His ability to do that is off the charts. Here he is in off coverage. Does a lot of man-to-man. -man. Here he is in off coverage, reading the quarterback, driving on the football. He's going to make his living with that burst and that speed to be able to drive, attack, and finish. That was a game we had a ton of production back in 2022. Goes to the Senior Bowl. He was the best corner there, and it wasn't close. Just blanketing dudes all day long. He was challenged by Mike Tomlin after the first day and said, hey, this Roman Wilson from Michigan has been awesome. Why don't you try and, and test yourself and go up against him? He line counted the next practice and went up against Roman Wilson every single wow. rep. So wow. that speaks to how competitive this kid is. Do you remember how he topped it off? Because we all saw it. It wasn't just the line counting. He did, made the play, made the interception. But the other thing he did was the challenge match at the end of practice when those coaches do that one-on-one. -on -one, and they said, Quinion, you're in one-on-one. -on -one. Who do you want? He called out Roman Wilson, and they went one-on-one. -on -one. So that challenge by Mike Tomlin was not unnoticed, and he matched it and went out there and did it throughout the practice and at the end. Tough and reliable. 40 games, 40 starts, didn't miss. And he was also a, a staple on special teams. So you're getting a guy that was great in the locker room, was loyal. He talked about the, the, the great issues. He gray shirted early. You know, that means that you get there and you, you're not on scholarship early, Rich, and then you don't go on scholarship until the spring. So he overcame a lot. He's going to be 23, a little bit older. I really like this. He knows really the plotting Northern Illinois. He got him four times in one game.